Hi everyone, it's Shelly here at Arts Nursery and today we are talking about fall berries. Not only are they great for fall color in your garden, they're also food for the birds. And we've got four that we absolutely love that we want to share with you. So we're going to start with Viburnum tinus compactum. Now this is also known as spring bouquet because in the spring this evergreen beauty is absolutely smothered with these beautiful pink white blossoms. And when they're finished, what's left in the fall are these beautiful steel blue berries which are absolutely gorgeous. Now this is a great foundation plant because it gets to be about four to six feet tall in your garden and it's hardy from zone seven to eleven. The birds also find it very attractive. Our next selection is Aronia melanocarpa otherwise known as a choke cherry, and the selection we're showing you today is Autumn Magic. Now this beauty will have gorgeous red leaves in the fall, and these tart berries, which are glossy and black, are both appreciated by human and birds. Now they're very tart, hence the reason why they get that choke cherry name, so you want to combine with other berries in your pies and in your jams. This plant will get to be about four to six feet tall, and it's hardy to zones three through seven. Our next evergreen selection is Pyracantha koizumii victory, otherwise known as Firethorn. Now this plant can be trained to climb up a wall up to 8 to 10 feet or as an espalier. It does have little thorns on it, so if you wanted to use this as a barrier plant, it's great for that too. The star of this plant, hands down, is about these orange little berries. Not only are they great for autumn pop of color, the birds absolutely love them too. This plant is hardy, zone 7 through 9. Our last selection today is a deciduous shrub. This Calicarpa profusion, otherwise known as a beauty berry, is obvious from its gorgeous purple berries. Now this plant will get to be about six feet tall and its hardy zones five through eight. The birds absolutely love it and if you love purple, this is a garden must for your fall garden. For the tip of the week, we're going to discuss when you should prune your fall berry producing plants. Now we all know that more flowers equals more berries, so you wouldn't actually prune these plants until late winter or early spring right before the flowers start. So that about wraps it up for this week. Be sure to check back next week when we have even more garden tips. In the meantime, come on down to the store and pick up one of these beauties for your fall garden, or check out our website for upcoming classes, seminars, and events.